What are the mental implications of gambling? Well, psychiatrist Dr. Timothy Barrett is urging Bahamians to consider them as a referendum on the issue looms. While speaking to reporters following a forum at Wesley Methodist Church today, Dr. Barrett said he wants to empower residents with enough information to make a decision for themselves instead of being swayed by public sentiment. Charisma Robinson has the story. While shying away from speaking directly to the issue of a gambling referendum in this country and whether or not there is cause for concern when it comes to a rise of addiction as a result of it, psychiatrist Dr. Timothy Barrett says he is more concerned about whether Bahamians are fully aware of the behaviors associated with gambling. <laughs> A gambling referendum is expected before the end of this year. In trying to get knowledge to share, I was um, very happy to find out uh, more knowledge about the whole issue of the behavior of gambling, as well as what can happen when people um, allow that behavior to get into problems and then develop the uh, condition of pathological gambling. Pathological gambling or gambling addiction is something Dr. Barrett says needs to be treated as it produces a lot of harmful effects for the individual as well as their families and the society. He says over the years he has seen a number of those cases. I think uh, it is the responsibility of every citizen to get as much information as possible about any issue that is going to affect the country. It is not just going to affect the individual, it's not my idea, it's not my thought, it is not my position, it's not my belief. It is what I have considered, it is what I have searched and found out. Because it's the individual who has to go to that uh, referendum and make his or her choice. Once there is more awareness on the issue, the psychiatrist says people who are pathological gamblers can realize that they have a problem and get help. He says a lot of these people are in denial. Then they feel trapped. Uh, there's sometimes guilt and shame that's associated with it. And th this is what happens. Uh, this is why you have to help people to understand. Yes, I know you feel guilt. Yes, I know you feel shame. Yes, I know you have tried to cut back but you're still having the problems. Now, Dr. Barrett says, based on his research, he doesn't know of any gender disparity here in the Bahamas when it comes to gambling. He says from what he knows, many men and women take part in gambling activities on a regular basis. Reporting for ZNS News Network, I'm Charisma Robinson.